what advice would you give a couple of what to look for in their photographer if they were looking? Right. Well, that's a that's a great question. And I think I actually give this advice to every single bride that I do a consultation with. Welcome to the Wedding Dreams Unveiled podcast, your go to source for insightful conversations with ordinary newlyweds and vendors navigating the difficult world of wedding planning. I'm your host, Livingston Lee, and with a decade of experience and hundreds of weddings captured, I'm here to tell you some of my stories and some of the other people's stories about the wedding business and how you can navigate it and it'll be a better, better thing for you. So, Today in studio, we have my main man, Kenneth Clapp, from Clapp Studios of Baltimore, who I've learned a lot from. When I say I learned a lot, I'm telling you, like one of my first weddings, I called him up and he was like, (laughs) bro, I'm there, you know, I'm there. You know, he was already like five years in. I was just getting started. And, um, you know, he didn't hold back. He showed me everything that I needed to do to get started and You know, he's still my guy till right now. A lot of y'all has probably seen us together doing weddings and a great guy right here. So, my man, Kenny Clapp, welcome to the Wedding Dreams Unveiled, brother. Glad to be here. Appreciate the opportunity. Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, let's get started, man, with, uh, you know, this this podcast is about wedding couples. Okay. And, um, you know, what they... My favorite uh, couples. Yeah, yeah. So we're trying <laughs> right. to, you know, just give them some some tips and things that they can do that would right. uh, help them out, you know, with whatever they got going on mm-hmm. or with planning or any oh, yeah. of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Kind of stuff that they can expect. So, mm-hmm. you know, for this podcast, I want it to be more so about what can a couple um, expect from their wedding photographer. Okay. So we'll get started. You want to introduce yourself? Okay. Tell us about, uh, you know, how long you've been in the business and- and uh, some of the accolades, because I know you got plenty okay. of accolades. You want to okay. go over some of your accolades, man? Yeah, you know, I don't like All to right. brag, but yeah. I, I'll bring it up. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but yeah, man, you know, it's it's um it's been a blessing, man. I've been in the game for about 15 years. Okay. Going on 16 years. So wow. next year it'll be 16 years. And, I, and I've, I've been part-time, so mm-hmm. it really doesn't seem that long. Yeah. You know, I've never been a full-time photographer. I've always right. juggled it. Um, with my full time profession, mm-hmm. so yeah, I mean, I've I've been in the game for about fifteen years. Yep, you know, and although it's I've been part time, you mm-hmm. know, but it 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 feels um, maybe not feel as as long because I've been part time. Right, I'm sure if I was a full time photographer, it would feel different. Oh yeah, you know, um, my my style is pretty much like moments driven. Yeah, so I'm looking for moments. I'm looking for hands, hugs, mm-hmm. high fives, yep. tears, all types of emotion. Yeah. Um, sometimes silence is 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 motion. Oh, is yeah. emotion, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I'm looking for all of that throughout the day. Um, and as a result of that, um, over the 15 years I've been doing this, I've amassed about 25 awards, international awards. Wow. So I'm I'm 25. 25. I'm That's pretty awesome. And it's funny because I had to look look it up this morning because yeah. I I don't I, I keep track but I don't keep track. Right. You know right. I mean? Right. I just right. I literally try to put one foot in front of the other. That's, you know. That's and, it. and as you know, every wedding to me is is important. Yeah. So, you know, I just put one foot in front of the other. Yep. And when it comes time to submit images, I I do it based on that. Right. Based on that. Based on how I feel about it. Right. So right. sometimes it lines up with 25 yeah. awards, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So anybody yeah. that's listening, man, you know, or, or that's looking at this on YouTube, like, mm-hmm. you know, I've I've done many, many weddings with with my brother here mm-hmm. and you know, some of his creativity is just amazing. And I'll be like, <laughs> wow, you know, how did you come up with that? You know? Right. And, and I've learned a lot of it too, you right. know? So, Absolutely. but um, yeah, man, thank God for all of that, man. Yeah. You know, awards, yeah. awards, awards is the way to go, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So, um, well, I, I think, I think, you know, it's for a couple of reasons. Mm-hmm. I think that on the bride side, you know, if a bride sees that, yeah, that, that builds trust. Yes. Almost almost immediately because they trust that you're a professional. Mm-hmm. They trust that you're going to show up. Yep. And they trust that you're going to perform in a way that's above standard. Yes. Because that's where those awards stem from. Oh, yes. That that level yeah. of, um, you know, of, of, of how things are done. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and yeah. the bride sees the awards. They see 
they see the accolades yeah. and they like, okay, I need somebody who I can trust. Oh yes. And so to me, I think that's what has benefited me as a, as a wedding photographer when the bride sees that, when they ask about it, right. You know? Um, and then of course, on the photographer side, you know, you, it's as we, as we go along in our career, you know, sometimes our customers change a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so for me right now, after 15 years, what the, what those awards translate is, is being a subject matter expert, Yeah, you know? Um, and so as, as, uh, as things go on, uh, the, the other photographers, the up and coming photographers, mm -hmm. you know, they want to reach out. They want to ask questions. Oh yes. And they look at the awards and they're like, okay, here's the guy to ask, you know, how do you get this? How yeah. do you, you know, and a lot of my awards are really, well, nothing that I've gotten an award for is anything that was staged. Okay. So my question is, and my answer is more, is more like how to be ready mm -hmm. for the moment. Yeah. You can't make the moment, oh, no. but you can be ready for the moment. And mm -hmm. that's what I try to teach people, like how to yeah. be ready. You know, you and I have talked about it. Oh, yeah. Like, hey, bro, you know, instead of standing here, maybe you could have stood here yeah. to get this uh -huh. and that reaction. Yeah. You know, and a lot of a lot of what I've learned over the time is just maybe looking at your images, looking mm -hmm. at my images mm -hmm. and, and saying, OK, dang, well, this was great. Mm -hmm. But what could have made it better? Oh, yeah. You know, so uh, yes. we, we learn from each other uh -huh. and, and, you know, learn from other people, too. But I, I know that what I, what I would teach mm -hmm. another photographer isn't, isn't so much technical, right. But more logistics, yeah. where to be, how to be uh -huh. and, and what equipment to use yeah. to get the right, to be in the right time, to get the right moment. Absolutely, man. Yep. And, 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 you know, and couples, man, you know, they, you know, they, well, well why is he there? Or well, why is he here? <laughs> why is he, why is he not right here? You right. know, right. And it's, it's always something that, we see that they don't see right. until they get right. the and photos. That's what, and that's where that know? trust comes from. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's, and trust has to be built from day one. Right. When they, when you, you know, when they, when they do the inquiry, yep. you know, 80% of the trust should be right there. Yes. The other 20, you got to build when you meet them. Uh-huh. Um, and you guys really connect. Right. But for the most part, everything that leads them to you should also be building up their, their inherent trust that they have for you as a, as a professional. Right. So when they do see you in certain places, they're like, okay, I'm trusting you. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right, or, right. You know, cause we, you know, we all would say, well, look, I know it feels crazy, but it's going to look great. <laughs> it's going to look great. Trust me. It's going to mm -hmm. look great. Yes. And when they see it, it's the first thing they say. Yep. So, you know, it's about trust. Yeah. Building sure, trust man. from, sure. from day one. Yeah. Yeah. What is, uh, like, like if you would have advice for any couple hiring mm -hmm. a photographer, what would your advice be for, you know, a couple that that didn't hire that didn't hire Clap Studios, but mm -hmm. said, you know, what what should I look for? What advice would you give a couple of what to look for in their photographer if they were looking? Right. Well, that's a that's a great question, and I think I actually give this advice to every single bride that I do a consultation with. So, okay. And I've I've never wavered from this advice okay you know we when when brides are doing their research and they're looking at pictures you know and they may be saving them down to pinterest or yep. screenshots and and, and and instagram and all that stuff right yeah yeah they're looking right and, and what they do is you know they may amass a list of photographers that they want to see mm -hmm. that they want to maybe take a second step second look at right maybe they right. want to talk to so of course, see what their packages are, right? Right, right. So right. once, once I think once, all oh, that's even, right? Mm -hmm. You know, all of us, most of us, we know how to take a good photo. Yes. You know, we know what color balance is for yep. the technical brides and grooms out here. Oh yes. You know, we know how to turn a picture into black and white. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> um, but then, but then, what makes the difference, right? Right. If our prices are about the same, mm -hmm. give or take a couple hundred, right? Yep. Yeah. What makes the difference, right? And I think the difference should be you mm. personally. Okay. How the bride personally feels and connects with the photographer. Right, right, right. Because I would always tell a bride, like when I was, after I did, did the consultation, I mm -hmm. would say, you know, meet, meet with other people, you mm. know? I said, but the person that you select should be the person that you feel the most comfortable with on one of the biggest days in your life. Right. Where you are the most vulnerable. Yeah. And, and, 
you know, with all those array of emotions that's going to happen throughout mm-hmm. the day, yeah. all that roller coaster of emotions, you need to have somebody there who you feel that you can trust mm-hmm. in those mm-hmm. moments, no matter what. Yeah. And I would always say, I hope it's me. <laughs> but right, if it's right. not, it shouldn't, I shouldn't be there. Right. And so, you know, my, my advice in, you know, is that, you know, be, be, get with the person that you think can add to your day, the person mm-hmm. that you're most comfortable with, you know, trust. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. Trust is something I think is important. Oh yeah. And so, you know, it should be that person, you know, okay. after everything's all even, right? Like I said, the prices, the work, yep. what's the deciding factor? Mm-hmm. I think it should be the relationship. Okay. The relationship. Okay. So, you know, from day one, I think that it should be the person that you're most comfortable with. Right. And how do you figure that out? You got to talk to the person. Yes. You know, I've, I've had brides where they booked me and they didn't do an engagement session, which mm-hmm. I strongly encourage to, for our brides yeah, to do. Absolutely. Do the engagement session, yes, guys. Yes. In most cases... In most cases, like with me, it comes with the package, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. But if it doesn't come with the package, still do it. Right. And I'm going to say this. A lot of times I've gotten brides. Mm-hmm. I'm going to circle back. But yeah, a lot yeah, of times yeah. I've no, gotten brides who've contacted me who already did the engagement session. Yep, yep, yep. Same and here. so I'm like, oh, okay, well, then we okay. But I'm here to say this. Going into 2024, yeah. brides, if you've already done the engagement session with someone else, do it again. Yes. With the guy or woman who's going to be your photographer for your mm-hmm. big day. I would agree. Do it again. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. It definitely gives you a way to get that rapport with your photographer. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Because yeah. it makes a difference. Yes. Now, I can I can perform and do great either way. Mm-hmm. But I've I've felt more comfortable when I've, I've taken an hour, two hours out of my time yep. to... to not just shoot the the the, the uh, future bride and groom, yeah, but to really connect with them, right? Right. You know, they we all have a persona on social media, mm-hmm. but when you're sitting and talking with a person and you're walking around for an hour to an hour and a half, you right. really build that trust, you build you that do. rapport. Yes. And when that wedding day comes around, it's like. It's like a reunion. Mm-hmm. It's like a reunion. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, Kenny, guys, this is yeah. Kenny, guys. Yeah. This is, you know, and, and a lot of times my so assistant true. comes too. I try to keep it consistent. So if there right. was a, somebody who came with me to help me out with that wedding, I yep. try to bring that person as yeah. well. Yeah. That's a non-shooting person, but right. at least that person is familiar with them too. Yep. So it's important for uh, our brides, I think, <clears throat> to, to give the photographer opportunity to to build that rapport okay. early because if not i'm building it on the wedding day right 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 and right, i can yeah. do that yeah but why work why why work uphill when you don't have to yeah you know yeah. I, I would just say get the engagement session done even if it's a mini session mm-hmm. connect with your photographer before the wedding yeah in person right i know we're busy i know we have a lot on our plate <laughs> we don't have time mm-hmm. but if it's if it's no more than a coffee date, you know, at Panera or, or whatever, something, something, right? Connect with your photographer, yeah, in person, yeah, in person. If you can do the engagement session, great. If if you're adamant about, well, I don't need that. At least connect with them in person, right? Ah, that's, that's awesome, Ah-da. man. I think that's... it. I think that makes a huge difference. In the outcome of 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 things, yeah. You know, I, I think that's great advice, man. Because like. You know, a lot of times, like I tell couples sometimes, like, especially when we do destination weddings and we'll Mm -hmm. talk about that, Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. sometimes you don't even meet the bride. You don't even meet the groom. You don't even you only talk to them on the phone once. And and we've also had it where, though, we haven't even talked to them. They only talk to the planner, you know, and then they meet us the day of the wedding. And then I'm, I'm, and when I get, and when we get to the room, yeah, we try to figure out which one is the bride. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) I'm like, well. She got that robe on. She got on. the robe on, yeah. <laughs> I'm no lie. I went into a room. I think we did a wedding together, and I thought, I thought this person was the bride, uh-huh. and that was the sister. Right. And that's because I may have done like some Facebook research uh-huh. to try to, <laughs> yeah. but they looked alike. You know what I mean? So when I when I met, I was like, oh, 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 hi. Yeah. You know what I'm so yeah. So yeah. I mean, again, you know, we 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 roll with the punches. Yes. But yep. in an ideal situation, mm-hmm. 
it's best to meet before the you definitely take time right. to meet all of your vendors, yes. but especially your photographer yes. and, your videographer and your videographer because yeah. we are going to be with you throughout the entire day. Entire day. Not the caterer. Yep. Not yep. the florals. Yep. Not the cake maker. Yep. Not the DJ. Us. That's true. And so it's it's just so important. Mm-hmm. Like, just take that time to invest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would agree. Invest. Invest in person. So oh. that's the... That's the main thing. Just in, yeah. invest in person. Right, right. With no, your, I would agree. With no, your, no, with, that's yeah, because it, ma- it makes stuff. a huge difference. And, and you know, the other thing it does, you know, none of you know none of our clients are models, right? You know, so they're not used to being in front of the camera. That's true. And that also helps them kind of you know break the ice. Yep. You know, break the so ice. that yeah, when they yeah. see their photos. They know, they start to figure out what their good angle is. Uh-huh. I start to figure that out, too, because every person is different. So true. So I don't go into an engagement session with a cookie cutter approach. Mm-hmm. I'll take a couple photos and I'll tweak throughout. We mm-hmm. both will. We're yeah. like, OK, this is not their angle. Yeah. Yep. This isn't a good right. look. Right. But I'd rather do that six months to a year before. Yes. Than on their wedding day. Because I'm going to have to do it. Mm-hmm. So it's it's good for us as well. Um personally yeah to be able to uh get those photos look at them analyze them see what works yeah see what doesn't work because everything doesn't work for everybody that's so true so So, true you know we we have to um do that for ourselves as well yeah yeah definitely man no good good stuff man so like like i was just saying about the destination weddings like Mm -hmm. what what is your approach to the destination wedding like Mm -hmm. um like, how do you approach, like, what, like, if you was to advise a couple, like, for a destination wedding, mm-hmm. um, what, what would that approach be? Like, how do you approach that, rather, I guess is the question. So, brides will know, couples, rather, mm-hmm. <laughs> always say brides, but right, couples right, right. will know what to expect from, you know, a wedding photographer when they hire them for a destination mm-hmm. wedding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great question. And, and I think... Um, Things have changed over the years. Okay. You know, when we first started doing destination weddings, um, we would go over there and we wouldn't have any problems per se, you know, with the resort or anything. Um, As time went on. And then I haven't, I haven't done one in over a year, Mm -hmm. um, but as time goes on, uh, the resorts, I believe have, you know, change some of their rules by yeah. behind or around outside vendors, yes. specifically mm-hmm. photographers and videographers, yep. because they offer that in their package. Correct. So my advice would be number one, talk to your resort mm-hmm. before you book us. Okay. Talk to your resort. Yeah. Because you could end up wasting money. <clears throat> so talk to your resort. Mm-hmm. See what to, see see what the rules and regulations are. Yeah. Um, behind photography and videography. Okay. Because some some resorts don't allow you I know it. to bring outside vendors at all. Yep. Some of them, they all say you can do what you want, but you have to use our photographer and vendors as well. Yep. And you and I have been there <laughs> yeah. with their oh, photographer yes. and with their videographer. Uh-huh. And we are, you know, try, it, it's a challenge. Yep. Because there's only but so much space I know it. during the ceremony. Uh-huh. Luckily for us, though. That's the only place that they show up. Right, right. It's the ceremony. Yeah, they didn't. They're not, they weren't nowhere else. They're not, not weren't at the reception. Yeah. yeah. They're not at the reception. They're yep. not in the room. Yep. So whatever package that they give them, mm-hmm. it's a very limited package. Right. So that's the benefit because we don't have to, you know, fight with them all day. Mm-hmm. But just, I would just say, check with the resort to see what the stipulations are. Okay. And can they bring someone else um you know i would i would recommend always having a photographer not from the resort right you know i, would I agree. mean and, and 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 for for certain reasons not just for selfish reasons because you know not because i would love to <laughs> right. be there yeah you know um <laughs> but you want your photos you want whoever that you're dealing with you want that I think you want that person to be stateside with you. Okay. And you come back. You yeah. want them back. Yep, yep, yep. And a lot of times if you're communicating outside of the country to get images, mm-hmm. to get, to follow up, you want other things 
I think it's a little easier when the photographer yeah. is, is stateside. Not necessarily in your same city or state, but right. at least in your region or wherever wherever you are. Right, right. They're closer. Yeah. You know? Um, and, you know, to that point, I think we just mentioned, you know, we generally offer more. Yeah, than, for sure. Than what they offer. Yeah. You know, they they have a, it's a very limited package that they have. And maybe they have more. Right. But I haven't seen. I haven't seen. A, it a, any wedding, any wedding that we've done destination wise, I've never seen the photographer or videographer show up for more than the ceremony. Okay. Never, ever. Yeah. So, um, but I would just say, again, as advice, I would say, get with, start with the resort. Okay. Before you, before you check with us. Okay. As, as vendors. Start with them. Okay. So that way you know what you can afford. Yeah. Because of, and I've also seen where, okay, you can bring somebody, but then because you're not using our vendors, mm-hmm. we're going to charge you $500. Yep. We're going to charge you $1,000. Uh-huh. So that has to go into your planning. Yep. yep. And that's important. Yeah. So know what, know what the rules are. Okay. Before you start to dream. Okay. Yeah. Know what the yeah, rules it's, are. It's, I, I think that's the biggest <clears throat> takeaway from that because you- you want to know what you can afford because if I tell you what my price is, but then you have to add another five hundred yeah. to a thousand on, yeah. that may become challenging for you. Right, and we right. don't, we have, we never want that no. for our brides and grooms. No. So just educate yourselves, know what the rules and regulations are, and then move forward. Okay. Yep. All right. No, that's 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 good stuff, man. Yeah. Because it's a lot of brides don't know that information. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean. So yeah. this is what we want this to be good for the brides. I right. Mean, the couple. the couples, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We want this to be good for them, man. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And I've, I've, I've had. Um, I'm not sure if you want to ask me this, but you know, I, there, there have been destination weddings where it was just me. Yeah. Well, I, that's. And, well, so hold on, hold okay. that, hold that yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 should a couple hire two photographers or one photographer, and also? But for, and it, that's just a regular normal wedding, okay. Like in the state, yeah. But also for destination wedding, we'll start there. Should a couple hire two photographers for a destination wedding, and also, how does that equate to the same if you're stateside, if you're just here in the states? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, my my general answer to that is yes. Okay. Should all, always offer two. Okay. And I wasn't always doing it like that. And it's so, for destination wedding. For everything. Okay. For everything. Okay. Um, I unless it's a courthouse wedding. Gotcha. I I don't have a one photographer wedding package anymore. Right. I used to. Okay. But I don't. Because again, I I think that um wedding photography is an investment. Mm-hmm. And it's important yeah. that we tell the complete story. Yes. And unless it's, like I said, unless it's a courthouse wedding, it's no way you can tell a complete story with one photographer. I would agree. Um, without the without that photographer really having to, quote unquote, kill themselves. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, <laughs> it, it, but you're going to miss something. Mm-hmm. You can't be at the end of the aisle and also capturing those final moments between a bride and her dad yes. before she comes in. Before you can't do down. both. That's right. You cannot do both. Absolutely. And so, and I think both perspectives are equally important. Okay. Because I'm going to be at the top, at the at the, at the the end of the aisle, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be looking at the groom. I'm going yep. to see in his reaction. I'm yep. looking at the parents. Yep. So I'm not just looking at the groom. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at the parents. I'm looking at the maid of honor. Yep. I'm looking at the matron. Yep. I'm looking at the bridesmaids. Yep. I'm looking at everybody to get their reaction okay. as the bride comes down. Right, right. My second shooter, again, final moments with the uh, with, with the dad, the, with the dad mm-hmm. or whoever is walking them down. It may it's not a lot be of the tears. It's sometimes so, it's a yeah. lot of tears yeah. outside of the room Absolute, before she comes down. You know that. Yeah. You know that. So, yeah. you know, I know that. So, you know, that's why I would always recommend two photographers. Right. And it's and, and the price point isn't that isn't that different. It's really. not. And so, I mean, it's an investment. Okay. And you're 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 going to you you're going to regret it if if you just have one photographer. Right. Right. So, right. I mean, stateside, I would say two for that reason. Yeah. You know, um, oceanside, I would say two as well. Um, like I said, I've done I've done everything I'm saying. I've done it, and I've the feedback that I give myself is, okay, I'm not doing it anymore. Right, you know? right, right. Because, you know, if, you know, when you first start out doing destination weddings, you're excited to yep. go over yeah. to 
you know, you think it's a vacation. You are. Yep. And it's not. It's not. I so, got to tell my wife that it's not a vacation. It's not a vacation. Like we're actually right. working. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, later, you know, our last wedding, we were able to, you know, negotiate the terms that, uh, that gave us an extra day. One day. Yeah. Yeah. But Which was it's, cool. But it's not a vacation. Yeah. We're working. Yes. And, and the difference between a destination wedding and a stateside wedding is that we have to cover a lot of real estate yes. with our equipment. Mm -hmm. So where I've had, me being the only photographer, I've had to go to the bride room, go to the groom room, mm -hmm. go back to the bride's room. Yes. All while carrying all this equipment throughout their resort. Right, right. So, so there's no car. <laughs> there's no, there's no Uber. There's no, no, you have to, you have to walk. Right. And right. a lot of times the buildings are like several buildings away. Uh huh. You know? Oh, so yeah. it's a lot on you physically, yeah. mentally. It's hot. Um, your equipment, certain things that I, you know, I know that we had to learn the hard way. Yeah. Is that foggy lenses. The foggy lenses. <laughs> right. I mean, Hey, listen, where's the camera? The foggy lenses. I mean, <sighs> What we mean by that, uh, couples, is when you are in, when you are in an air conditioned room, uh huh, and everything is good, and we take out our cameras and we and we take start to take pictures. The moment we leave that room, yep, the camera is adjusting to the temperature difference, Correct. yep, and it starts to fog up, yep, yep. So not knowing that the uh -huh. first time, you know, we are just like, oh my god, what's happening? What is going and we're wiping and wiping and wiping and wiping and wiping. And, wiping. and so, you know, it's just things like that that uh -huh. you have to that you have to consider, you know, and, and all that moving. Yep. You have to consider that each and every time that right. you're moving outside from from an air conditioned environment to a non air conditioned right. hot environment. Yeah. You know, your equipment has to make that adjustment. Yes. And so, um, you know, it's it's um, it's things like that. But definitely with two, I've I've. I don't even do them now okay. unless the person is willing to pay for it to photographers. Okay. Because I, I need to do the things the way I do it, yep. which is my focus is on the bride as right. the main photographer. Yeah. And then the second shooter, their focus is on the groom. Correct. You know? And, and that allows him to, to focus on the groom. Yep. Allows them to take some portraits ahead of time. Yep. Because we want to try to make the most of our time. Yeah. And a lot of time, the groom, you know, the grooms, the groomsmen and the groom, they don't have to hide. Right. So they can be in open sight. Yep. They can take photos ahead of time, which I definitely recommend. Yes. Because after the ceremony, I don't care if it's stateside or, or, or destination wedding. And I don't know if we're going to talk about that, but it's yeah. never enough time. So we're definitely so, going to talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. So take advantage of the downtime that yeah. you have, yep. you know, um, and you can't do that with one photographer. Right. You have to have two. All right. If you want, if you want the photos that you see mm -hmm. on Instagram, Instagram. Yeah. You, you have to have two. Right. It's, you know, like I said, I've done it, but I, there were moments that I missed. Right. There were opportunities that I missed. Oh, yeah. Um, even even when, you know, after, you know, we were doing portraits when I was by myself, mm -hmm. you know, I had to ask some of the, luckily I knew some of them, but I had to ask some of the the guests to help me. <laughs> with stuff, with current with, equipment. With, with holding a light. Yeah. Because it's, it's things like that that we shouldn't have to ask the guests to help. Mm -hmm. You know. That's true. I mean, I was resourceful and I said it with a smile, right. but. <laughs> it's something that I really shouldn't have had to do, yeah. you know, um, but it, it, you definitely need two photographers. Okay. You definitely need two. And then, like I said, you know, you have your equipment, you know, you have your cards, you're backing that up. Yeah. Um, you know, funny story. Uh, the, I did a destination wedding. Destination wedding. I was by myself. Mm -hmm. Wasn't with you. Right. If I'd have been with you, I wouldn't have had this problem. <laughs> right. But I had a destination wedding. We were in Punta Cana. Mm -hmm. And... Won't say the airline. Right. But <laughs> my equipment did not come with me. Right. Your, my camera does. I think I remember this yeah, story. Yeah. Your camera should always be your carry-on. Yes. Never check your camera in. Correct. So, you know, um, and my light stands. Uh, I remember this story. Stayed in Baltimore. Yeah. Long story short, I thought they were lost somewhere along the way. Right. But the way they handled my equipment, mm -hmm. the handle actually broke off and the tag broke off. Yep. So yep. long story short, it was untagged luggage <laughs> that stayed at BWI. And so I had to be resourceful. 
Um, and I had to ask some folks to help me. I had to hold lights myself. Yep. Yeah. Um, I made it work. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I think for me, the takeaway for that, and this is a good question that a bride can ask, hey, if you're coming over, so what happens if mm -hmm. what happens if you know something happens with your equipment? Yes. I think that's a very important question because you can't go to the camera store in Jamaica. Nope. You know, you 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 can't. So for me, moving forward from that moment, what mm -hmm. I've always done, although mm -hmm. I've had like my my full size light stands in um in my carrying bag. Yep. I also have like some backup smaller right. compact yeah. um light some stands teeny ones. that right. you know push come to shove. Okay, I can make this work. Yeah. I can make this work. No, that's awesome. And so that's that's what I that's what I learned because if that would have been my camera mm -hmm. that didn't make it. Right. I'm resourceful, but I don't know what I would have done. iPhone. Yeah, yeah. Or somebody else's camera. Yeah, you know, somebody else's Somebody camera. has a good camera. Yeah, usually somebody has Somebody. Yeah. Well, I had yeah. to go to the to the gift shop and get something. Right, but, right. But but my point is, you know, brides, when you're when you're you know, you have to ask these questions. What are you what is your contingency plan? Mm -hmm. What happens? Yep. You know, and the photographer should also be up front with that information. Yes. All right, broski. So yeah, man. All right, good stuff, man. Good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Definitely. <clears throat> good stuff. Um, so the, the, the next thing, man, that I, I want to talk about, man, is kind of the, the, the wedding portraits, mm. you know, we all know yeah. how, you know, the wedding portraits is and how that goes and mm -hmm. all of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. How much time should a couple, how, how much time should a couple expect for their wedding portraits? You know, it's, it's usually right after the ceremony, we, we, we kind of do that. Mm -hmm. You know, how much time should they expect? Because I know a lot of time, like as photographers and videographers as well, we, we it always like we don't have enough time, you know. So what, how much time should they expect to um, spend with the photographer after the ceremony? It's a great question. Yeah. And, and I think there is a question before that. OK. And that question before that is what should the bride and groom do? To allow for the most time possible. Okay. Okay. I like it. I and like that it. is, uh, let the ceremony start on time, you yep. know, because you and I know that, you know, the time after the ceremony and the time before the reception is the time that we have for mm -hmm. portraits. Yep. Right. Whether it's family portraits or, you know, bridal portraits, yep. lovey-dovey stuff, that's the time that we have. Mm -hmm. And in most cases... When the ceremony is late, yep. the reception is not. Yep. So that takes that cuts out a, that cuts out the time that we have for portraits. Yes. If it's important to you. Mm -hmm. So again, we're going to circle back to the conversations that need to happen okay. between the vendor, the the bride. I mean, the 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 vendor being us. Yep. As the photographers with the couple. Okay. With the planner. Okay. Because. That's what we have to all sit down and coordinate the the most realistic timeline. Mm -hmm. So the first, again, we want to really have the most time possible. Right. And then even plan for a contingency to be 10 to 15 minutes late. Correct. Because if not, you know, the way the caterer is set up and I know they have like food drops and mm -hmm. things like that, that time usually is not flexible as far as starting late. They don't Correct. start the food service late. No. You know, and, um, that's not my lane, but I've seen it. Exactly. You know, from right. my lane, like, yeah, yeah. okay, Kenny, how much time do you, you know, right. like, I'm just getting started. So, <laughs> you know, love all my planners out there, but oh, you yeah. know, you know, yeah. and so it's the best way to maximize that most time is number one, to plan for it. Okay. Plan for, if it's a cocktail hour, yep. plan for the hour, you okay. know? So the upfront communication is key. Mm -hmm. Ask the couple. Do you want to enjoy some of your cocktail right. hour? Yeah. Okay, good. So that means now I got 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Let's just say. I would you know, right? agree. Yep. If the bride and groom say, no, I don't care about that. I want photos. Yeah. Well, see, then that's the then that's the communication. Right. And right. that's how you plan. Okay. And so, you know, that's the communication between me, the bride, and the planner. Because we need to all be on the same page. Okay. Right? Yeah. And so, you know, when, when we see things are a little behind time is usually because they underestimated whatever time it took to prepare. Okay. Whether it's makeup, hair, yeah, yeah. transportation. 
those are the things that we really got to sit down and try to help the bride and the planner to plan realistically. Okay. Because if not, it's going to affect the timeliness. Right. So the first thing is make sure the the bride, the, the wedding starts on time. Okay. Because that will then give us the most time possible yep. within that, within that gap. Mm -hmm. Once we do that, Another thing I would say is to be the most efficient with, with our time mm -hmm. is to ask the, is the, let the, you know, have the bride and groom uh, offer what type of like combination shots they want. Now I don't mean mm -hmm. asking them to help us do our job. We're not right. talking about that. I'm right. talking about, do you want a picture with your grandmother? Do right, you want a right, picture right. with your parents? Mm -hmm. How do you want that broken down? So like a shot list. Almost. A shot list. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we we need that for the for the formals. Correct. Because then then that's the communication, because then those people, those VIPs who are on that list, yep. they need to be right there. Right. We don't want to waste time on your day trying to find Uncle Jimmy. Right. Right. Uncle Jimmy went to the cocktail hour. Yep. Yep. And then we have to wait, take time. Mm -hmm. um, that's where I see a lot of time wasted yep. is, is making sure is is not having people where they should be. Be okay. and ready to take the photos that they need to take. Yeah. You know, um, and then some, and then sticking to that shot list, right? Because yeah, the first, the first, the first set of photos are those pictures. The family photos is first. Yep. Because we want, you know, we want people, we want the family to to get to the cocktail hour, so we knock that out right, first. Right, right, right. You know, then we uh, usually it's a shot with the couple with the uh, with the officiant. Yep. Then we let him or her go. Yep. Yep. Then we start to break down the bridal party. Mm -hmm. Now, we talked about it before. A lot of times, which I strongly recommend, you know, let the guys take their photos ahead of time, that ahead of the great. ceremony. Yeah. Let them do that so that we don't have to do that. So I don't have to do that as the main photographer mm -hmm. after the ceremony. Because if not, then that's more time we're taking out. Yep. Yep. Right. So with that being the case, then when I get to the guys, I may only have to take uh, I may have to put them in with the big bridal shot. Yep. Or one photo just so that the background will be consistent. Correct. But I don't have to do a lot more than that because my second shooter has mm -hmm. already done it. Absolutely. So take advantage of the time. Make sure that, you know, so when I get there, I'm shooting, I'm shooting the bridesmaids, um, the bride. Mm -hmm. um, lately, I'll tell you this, lately too, I've learned to take advantage of downtime even with the bride. Okay. Before the ceremony. So if I, if the bride has 10 minutes, like, hey, hey, you feel like taking a couple portraits? Right, right. I'm trying to take those portraits oh, yeah. up front, too, mm -hmm. for her, yeah. so that I don't have to do so much after the ceremony. Mm -hmm. So I've learned to become much more efficient throughout the day with the bride. Right, right. If she can, If she can take a photo, if she's with it, I'm with it. Right, right, So right. being, you know, just having a good game plan. Yeah. You know, and then, and then... You know, setting aside the time to, to, you know, ask the bride, do you want pictures with you and each one of your bridesmaids? You know, mm -hmm. um, one of the, you know, we've, we, what I've seen um, as a, as a funny trend is I've seen huge bridal parties this year or I've seen none. So it's <laughs> right, either, right. It's, it, there, there's no more happy media. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. I've seen 10 and 10 on each side, 12 yep. and 12. Yep. Or I've seen, no, it's just us and the kids. Right. You know? So when it's when it's the larger bridal party, I think that that deserves more communication. Yeah. Because you want, you want, you always want to set expectations. You know, you want your bride and groom to know what to expect. Mm -hmm. So that when you start to talk, mm -hmm. they already know what's coming. You know. So if I so, ask them, hey, do you want, do you want pictures of you, each one of your bridesmaids? Right. Do you want a picture with with just with you and your maid of honor. Yeah. A lot of times the picture with the maid of honor mm -hmm. or the matron or both is yep. sufficient. Right. And that saves a lot of time. Right. Well, so. that's, 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 so I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Mm -hmm. So like if it is a wedding party and we've seen them with 10 on each side, mm -hmm. where we got to like stagger them and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like should the couple, if they have this big extravagant wedding party, should it be more time allotted to the photographer and the videographer as well to do these pictures. So let's just say it is 45 minutes, but you got a wedding party of 10 right. and, and, and we don't want you to uh, not get somebody in it. We want 
you to be able to put everybody in it that you want. But right. should it be an hour or an hour and 15 minutes because of the size of your bridal party? That's right. I believe. You I know? believe so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, and that goes back to the upfront communication. Right. That when there is a, a bigger bridal party, you really need to, the photographer needs to really be involved with the logistics, with the planning. Right. Um, to make sure that we have met the expectations. Okay. If there's 10 on each side and you have a large family, then we're going to need more time. Right. So the ceremony may want to, may need to start a little earlier if there's some flexibility with that, yep. you know, or the reception can start a little later if there's some yep. flexibility with that. Yep. 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 But have those upfront conversations and be realistic. Okay. I've, I've, you and I have seen this. There's been so many times where the bride is thinking one thing mm -hmm. and we have to reel her in yep. to reality. Like, yes. No, that would take two hours. Yeah. And we have <laughs> yes. 35 minutes. Yep, yep, yep. So what's really important for yeah. you, you know? Yep. And I'd rather have that conversation before the day of the wedding yep. than on the day of the wedding. So yep. the communication is important. Right. But to your question, yes, there should be more time if there's a large party. Okay. It should be more time. Okay. If you want to get the photos that you want to get. Right. You know, a lot of times what happens is, unfortunately- you know, what will be left is a few minutes of us that I get to shoot the bride and groom by themselves. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. And sometimes maybe it's no time for the wedding party. Right. Yeah. Right. So, you know, that. but it's, it's, it's all about communication. Right. And I think um, if you plan accordingly and you, and you make the right things on the timeline yep. and you have the space for that. Yep. You know, even if you say, Hey, you know what? And, and you and I've done this. Hey, after the serve, after the reception settles, We'll come back out and take 10 more, 10 more right. minutes with you guys. Right, right. Just with them. Yeah, yeah. If they're flexible with that, then that allows us to be flexible during the formal time, especially if they're a little late. Right, right, right. So, and, and like, I think that question kind of goes into something else I wanted to talk about. <clears throat> and um, just kind of want to, like, how many hours in advance should a couple expect for their photographer to be there. So, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times, like some of the questions that we ask during the, during the, um, the consultation is, do you want to do getting ready photos? Right. And most couples, I would say 90% of them do, Yeah. you know, and then there's some is just like, no, we don't need all of that. You know, and mm -hmm. some grooms, you know, no, I don't need all that. I don't need nobody taking right. pictures of me, putting my shoes on, or, <laughs> you know, which right. is cool. That's great. No, no problem. Right. right. But you know, if, if you are, getting getting ready photos which mm -hmm. which I highly recommend mm -hmm. because it helps to tell the story right um you know how many hours in advance this is one of the questions I always get and I just you know I know the answer to it but I want the couples to know yeah how many hours in advance should a cu the couple tell a photographer to arrive so it can be enough time for them to get getting ready photos and still continue on with their day right right um my general rule is two hours. Right. That's my general rule. Okay. But I also like to ask the bride, well, you know, when are you getting your makeup done? Okay. You know, it depends on how far away where they're getting ready is mm -hmm. from the venue. Yep, yep. But usually two hours covers that. Okay. Because when I'm talking to my brides, I'm telling them, hey, when I first, I come in, you know, I come in and the first 20, 20, 25 minutes or so, I'm taking pictures of your details. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what details are is, you know, everything that, that you know, comes together to make you the bride. Yep. You know, so yep. whether it's the shoes, the dress, you know, uh, earrings, if there's, um, if there's the uh, invitations, yep. all of that stuff. Usually no more than 30 minutes. Right. But it takes time. That's the first thing I do when I get in, you right. know. And sometimes that stuff is laid out or sometimes I have to get it. Yeah. Even if it's laid out, I usually reposition it. Okay. The way I like to position <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, you know. Yeah. Shout out to all my bridesmaids who positioning it, do you know, the way Animator they want to do it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or exactly. matron. I'll be like, ah, let's just move this over here. Hey, right, you right. Know, Put this it is, in the light right 2023. here. 2023. We're going <laughs> to <Yeah>. change <laughs> right. this over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. sure. But yeah, so I, I let the bride know. Again, it's about communication. So yep. I let her know, hey. First 20, 30 minutes I'm in, I'm really shooting the details. Okay. By the time I finish that, 
I want you to be finishing up your makeup. Okay. You know, because I'm not going to take pictures, the early pictures of the bride getting her makeup. Right, That's, right, right. Those right. aren't the photos the bride's right, going right. to want to see. Maybe 70% halfway, 80%. 80% done. Yeah, right. Yeah, I need probably, you know, maybe putting on eyelashes, yep. the lip. Yep. A little bit of the foundation, but, yep. you know, the, the the core part should be done. Correct. You know, because... You know, it, it, it is a part of the day, but, you know, you you want to make sure that the bride looks her best in the photos. Absolutely. So, you know, um, that allows that time to line up. So once I'm finished with the details, I should be finishing up with the bride's makeup okay. shots. And then, um, because typically I'm usually the only guy in the room. Right. You know, so typically when it's time for, um, for, for the bride to put their dress on, then I'll, I usually step out of the room. Right, correct. You know, out Absolutely. of respect. I'll step out of the room. Absolutely. And I charge the bride, and I usually charge about two other people mm -hmm. to let them know when it's, when it's good for me to come yep. in. Yep. Because Get the zipping out of the dress yeah, or something like that. Yeah. yeah, so I tell them, hey, you know, once the dress is, when dress is on up the front, yep. you know, before you zip in, mm -hmm. before you lace up, yep. Yep. let me know so I can come back in. Because correct. The bride's really going to want these photos. Oh, absolutely. This is, that's the pivotal moment oh, yes. of the day. Mm -hmm. It's the bride putting the dress on, and it's the kiss. Yes. Those are the pivotal moments of the day. It is. And, you know, I, as a documentarian, as a person who is driven by moments, mm -hmm. I, I, I need to capture those. I, I, I need to capture that time. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes it, it, it you know, the things get a little carried away with the time and I'll come, come into the room and the bride's dress is just on already. So I'm like, okay, but it's all good. But right. yeah, so that gives me the two hours gives me enough time for the details, for some of the finishing touches on mm -hmm. the, uh, the makeup. Yep. If, uh, if, if sometimes, and then we also, sometimes we'll have time before the dress gets put on, mm -hmm. you know, we do the robe shots. Yep. Yep. Um, that's something very, very popular, very fun. Yep. Oh yeah. Um, great group shot with the feet, with the, with the brides and bridesmaids. Yep. Um, sometimes I'm able to get a individual shot of each of the, of the bridesmaids in the, in the, um, in the robe. Okay. You know, or if, if the bride pre would, would prefer, I'll get the bride with with the bridesmaid in the robe. Okay. So, yeah. you know, at least then those photos are taken care of. Right, you right. Know? So, You're again, done. <laughs> then I'm done. Right, You know, right. you know. So, yeah, I, I really want, you know, those those folks who are in that room mm -hmm. with the bride are very important people to her. Right. I don't care if it's two or 22. Yep, that's true. They're very important to her. Yep. So, they're important to me. Yeah. And so, I want to make sure that when they're reliving their day and they're looking at these images that everyone has a moment mm -hmm. in that story. Cause that's why this person is in that room. Absolutely. So I look for, I look for the moments between themselves, between them with the bride. Okay. Cause a lot of times some of the, especially with the larger parties, yeah. they don't all know each other. Right. Cause yep. you got, you know, you may have a sister, a cousin, a couple of people from work, a yep. couple of people from school, a yep. couple of people from church. Yeah. And they all coming together, yeah. really for probably the first time. First time, you know. So there's some getting ready, some some getting used to moments yeah, that yeah. that I'm there to document that's too. Good stuff, man. So, yeah, for sure. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, man. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. About two hours is good, mm -hmm. you know. And then that allows travel time. Well, or, or, or if there's no travel time, that allows time for the bride to just relax. Yeah. You know, but I always say about two hours. Okay. Before the ceremony. All right. Yep. No, that's 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 awesome, man. Yep. Um, so like some of the, like things are changing, like in the wedding business, mm -hmm. like what mm -hmm. are some of the, the trends that you see that are starting to take place? Um, I mm -hmm. think it was a photo you sent me, um, a couple, maybe a couple months ago and you was like, man, it's the new thing that they are doing. And I was like, mm -hmm. I ain't never seen that. You know what I mean? Whoa, I can't but, remember like, what, what was it. You remember what it was? What, what, what are some of the, like, like yeah. I, yeah, it was, I think it was, um, I, I forget. But, yeah. Like, what are some of the like newer trends that mm. that you see like in the photo industry? Like, like mm -hmm. Instagram is changing the way we look at photos. Like, we're used to looking at photos in a landscape portion, which is straight across. True, you know. And Instagram has pretty much kind of changed the game, and everything is vertical now. I know. With them, you it's know, killing me. Yeah, it's killing it, me it, mentally. It's, it's killing a lot of yeah. photographers. But yeah. I mean, you know, like, yeah. like just different trends or different 
you know, mm -hmm. people are doing this now, people are doing that. What are some of the yeah. stuff that you see? Well, I mean, I, I think for me, I mean, I'm I'm consistent myself as okay. I as I approach it. Yep. But some things that I've seen differently, honestly, the trend that I'm seeing, and, and this may be an interesting thing to say, but the trend that I'm seeing is that brides are bucking tradition. Okay. So the trend is that <laughs> they are not doing what their aunt did, what Correct. their mother did. They're okay. doing something different. Right. You know, right. I'm seeing a lot more vibrant colors. Yep. You know, with the guys, okay. with the with the decoration, you know, okay. I'm seeing where people are just being more bold. Okay. They're taking more chances. Yep, yep. You know, I did a, I just, just everything. I think they're questioning, like, well, why do we do this? Right. You know, like I, I was, I was doing a wedding in Richmond, Virginia. And, you know, we, I, I was thinking that they were going to do the, uh, the garter toss, the garter mm -hmm. taking off the leg. Yeah. Uh -huh. And she was like, no, oh no, I don't know. I don't want to do that. That's <laughs> I forgot what it was, but you know, it made me say, "Huh." Oh, you know, mm -hmm. so people are bucking tradition. Yeah. Um, I, I recently did um, a wedding. It was a church wedding, really small. Mm -hmm. I was just there for the ceremony. Right. So um, they only needed one photographer. Right. It was just one person. <laughs> right. We didn't need, it was just me. And, and yeah. it wasn't, you know, and it, and it was just them. But what was so awesome was that instead of, instead of a, um, and Bryce, listen up for this. Instead of the the flower girl coming down the aisle, yep. they gave they gave the guests flowers. Nice. So the guests did not have their phones or their laptops or their mm -hmm. iPads on iPads, the whole way. Yeah. I mean, all in the aisle. Way. Right. No, they had petals, and so they threw out the petals wow. as the bride came down with her. Dad. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean. I've been doing this for 15 years. Yeah. I've never seen anything right, like that. Right. So I think brides, and, and maybe that comes from information mm -hmm. that because you know the the web, the the World Wide Web, that's one thing it's good for. Yeah. It's information. It's, oh, you for know, sure. it's a lot of other things, but one thing is information. Yeah. And and if you can be given information, even like what we're doing today, yeah, it, it can broaden their horizon. Yep. Yep. And so I saw something like that and I was like, wow, I've never seen that. Yeah. And this year, tradition, I mean, specifically, I've said that a lot of times. Yeah. Like, oh, wow, I've never seen this. Uh -huh. I've never seen that. You know, um, I've seen where a lot of our, our couples are are infusing, like, technology mm. more with things. So no longer now is it the traditional photo booth. Right, right. Now it's the 360. Yeah. Or now, and, and everything, instead of it being printed up and you having all these 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 uh, these photos everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now it goes straight to your phone. Yeah. So I think brides are are you know utilizing technology. Right. Um. And things are becoming more interactive. Right. You right, know. Right. So that's another thing. I think that they're using brides are trying to make everything an experience, mm -hmm. not just the ceremony, but the entire day. Right. Right. So I mean, I I, I did a wedding where uh, I believe it was called Living Flowers. So again, I hate, I hate to keep taking out the the flower girl, <laughs> but instead of the flower girl, uh -huh. uh, there were these two women, yeah, and they were dressed like flowers, right? And they walked around, and wow. and 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 you couldn't see their face right. because their face was this this like this white flower, right? right. They were dressed in white, and their hands were flowers, yeah, and it was like lace, and it was like beads, and it was awesome, mm -hmm. but it was something different, right? And right. it was an interactive, and these people walked around. And they hug their guests. Yeah. So it's something, something that they can do. Yeah. And, and that's outside of the bride and groom that yeah. they can experience. Um, I've seen interesting drinks that are being made right. now. So it's not just, you know, beer, wine. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I've seen drinks mm. with that are exotic, mm -hmm. you know. And you can get these signature drinks. They have folk, um, 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 smoke and fog. And, right. you know, I've just seen where the bride and groom have also, you know, been able to put their own touch on things. Right, right, right. Even if it's at a hotel. Yeah. Like a Martin's West or, or not Martin's West, like a Hilton or a Holiday yep. Inn or or at a venue where there's typically, a, you know, traditional things they do. Mm -hmm. It still allows a bride and groom to give their couples that that interactive experience. Right, right, right. Yep. No, that's, yep. that's, yeah. that's good, man. Yeah. That's, that's so good it's, stuff. So, so the trend is that I see bride and groom's Brides and grooms bucking the trends. Right. And nope. making that's, their making their awesome. own lane. Yeah. So 
Make your own lane. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, and I'll be that's there. Good stuff. Yeah. I'll be there. Yeah. I, I stay consistent, yeah. but um I that's what I've seen. Right. That's what I've seen. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. Yep. No, that's yep. that's good stuff, man. Yep. With <clears throat> I think a lot of t- uh, one of the other things that couples expect is like, when am I gonna get my pictures? When am I gonna get my <laughs> right. you know, when when yeah. is my gallery coming? When right. is my, you know, when when do I get it? You right. know, right. And, and some couples, you know, they they call you two days later and it's just like, um, well, we I not yet, you know, right. but how right. long should a couple expect to uh, receive their wedding gallery? Right. Right. Great question again. So. I tell my brides six to eight weeks. Right. And it's not because it takes that long to edit, mm-hmm. but it just takes that long because number one, we have other weddings that we have to edit and Correct. get to before yep. yours, just yep. out of respect for their, mm-hmm. for where the the prior brides and grooms came in. Correct. Their weddings came yep. in. So it, it doesn't take that long, but it takes that long for the pipeline okay. to, to reach maturity. Right, right. For it to be your turn for me to edit your pictures. Right. Um, what, what I do now, though, is I typically will give, because you're right, our brides and grooms, they our couples, they want their pictures before the wedding happened. So <laughs> right, yeah. I tell them, again, it's about that communication uh-huh. up front. Yep. I tell them, hey, in about seven to ten days, yep. you'll get a sneak peek. Correct. And I'll give you about, our sneak peek used to be very large. Used to be real now, large. Now, now you, gotta, you get about 30 yeah, images, yeah. about 30 images, which, you know, if we break down, the wedding, the wedding is usually broken down into four parts. Mm-hmm. The preparation, the ceremony, Correct. the portraits, and then the reception. Right. So if I'm going to give you 30 images or 40 images mm-hmm. from your day as a sneak peek, right. basically we would divide that up by four. Correct. So if it's yeah. 30, you know, if it's 40 images, you get about 10 or so images from each part of the day. That's, that's a good rule of thumb. And that helps to kind of wet your whistle yeah. as a couple. Keep it calm. Can, and they can share. <laughs> they can share the images. They can post them online. Right. And that's really all they want. You know, they yeah. like, like they want to see something. Yeah. You know, yep. and they don't want to see the pictures that that their guests got. Because mm-hmm. no. they know that your picture is no. going to look way yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, I give them that seven to ten day time frame for the for the sneak peek. Sneak peek. Yeah. And then the six to eight week time frame for the full gallery right. that they'll get online. They can download how right. they like. Right, right. Cool. Yep. So, so, and, and just so the wedding couples out there know, like at, at during a wedding, like how many photos be, with you and the second photographer, how mm-hmm. many photos, because when I tell people this, they are like amazed, but I want you to tell them <laughs> like, how many photos do we take on a, at an eight hour wedding? How many photos are we taking? Um, it it depends on the level of activity. Correct, I agree. If it's a first look, it depends on yeah. all of that stuff. So let's say no yeah. first look, just regular but getting traditional, ready. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Eight hour day. How how many? Tell um, them how many images we would shoot. And I haven't asked him this. Yeah, this yeah, is, <laughs> yeah. At at least five thousand. At least correct. At least yeah. At least and yep. usually. A sweet spot, depending on again the activity. Mm-hmm. If there's a lot of dancing during the yep. reception, yep. But yep. about seven to eight thousand. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Eight hour day, you figure yeah. maybe about eight to a thousand wedding. I mean, uh, pictures per hour. Yep. You know, and yep. and, and and you know yep. that may that's on my side and on his side, right? Or on both shooters' side. Yeah. So a ten hour wedding, you know, maybe eight thousand to ten thousand images. And we used to think I like, just did one. I, I, uh, yeah. I, I did a 10 hour wedding. Yeah. And it was 11,000 images. But that's what I'm saying. Like 11,000 so, images. And so you have to go through those images. So, yeah. you know, kind of going back to yeah. when can you expect your gallery? Yeah. Like it's that many photos yeah. to go through. And, you know, and, and just yeah. while we're on the subject of that, how many images can the couple? expect when they get their gallery let's just say mm-hmm. on an eight hour wedding mm-hmm. no first look no any of that stuff mm-hmm. how many images on average can they expect to receive on average about 10 percent of that right about 10 percent correct that. i'd say 800 seven to eight hundred for right. eight hour day yeah something like that yeah you know because you know the way that we shoot mm-hmm. you know again if we're if we're looking at moments happening yep. you know moments driven mm-hmm. um the moments driven approach 
you know, when I see something happening, I get in position. Right. And I'm taking pictures as the moment is happening. So I'm shooting what you call shooting through the moment. Right, right, right. And there's a lot of images that take place. Yes. Whether it's getting ready. Mm-hmm. I'm shooting through the moment. This isn't spray and pray. Nope. I've I have framed it every I've framed the I've framed the moment. I know what I want in the picture. I know what I don't want. Mm-hmm. But as the moment is happening, I'm continuously shooting right. all the way through right, right, until right. it ends. Right, right. And that's that's why we have so many images at the end right. of the day, because we're not just taking taking a picture right. and walking away. Right. We're taking the picture. If you were to look at all of our photos, it almost mm-hmm. looks like a video. Yes. Because of how we shoot. Yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? And then we take the best of the best from those. Correct. So, but that's it's part of our style yeah. is the reason why. Now, if, I couldn't do this if I was shooting film. Right. You know? no, 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 no. I couldn't do it. So, <laughs> right. shout out to all my film guys, too. Yeah, yeah, Love yeah. y'all. Film is making a big comeback. Yeah, y'all, <laughs> y'all set the foundation. But um, I would definitely, like, that's why we, we shoot so yeah. much. You know, it's not, I'm just holding down. I'm just praying that something happens. No. No, I'm seeing the moment. Yep. I'm being very decisive. Yep. And and as things are happening, if someone's dancing, yep. Or there's tears or there's crying hugs. I'm mm-hmm. shooting through that moment. Yes, yes. And that's what that's why we take so many images. Yep, yep, you yep. know, and then we pick the best of the best. Absolutely. And so, um, but yeah, usually about 10% of that. Yeah. That's what I've seen. No, I, I yeah. I'm with you. I'm with yeah, you. About yeah, about 10%. Yeah. 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 Yep. I even started adding that to like packages, like you can expect this many pictures mm-hmm. you know yeah. just so they know you yeah know ballpark I mean? yeah ballpark yep, yeah yep, yeah yeah because i try I, 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 mean, I would tell my i tell my couples you know that's a ballpark mm-hmm. but i never want to add a picture just to meet a quota no right no, no. so i would tell them give or take yeah right yep, that's yeah. what we say give or take yeah 50 to 100 give or take because yeah. it just it really depends on you sometimes it might not be 800 it might be 750 it might be you know what i'm yeah. saying and, yeah and and, and yeah. that's just what we wind it down to. Yeah. You know? So it really depends on the level of activity and what happens. Yep. You know, yep. Um, if there's a lot of activity, I'm right there. Yeah. If there's not, I'm still right there. Yeah. But you're going to get less images. Yep. You know, yep. but I, but, but whether you get 500 images or 800, I'm going to tell you, we're going to tell you a complete story. Absolutely. And yeah. that, that is your story. Yep. It didn't, it didn't take, 800 to tell your story. Right. 800 images. It took 500. Right. Yep. But if it takes more to tell your story, then we're going to deliver more. Right. right. But it depends on how many pictures, how many images it takes to tell your story. Right. Yep. yep. I would agree. So, um, what, let's, uh, let the people know where they can find clap studios at like all of the, all of the places where you are, okay. you know, all okay. of the, you know, I'm sure they know a lot about you now. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And uh, just where, where can they find you at? So you can find you, you can find us first and foremost at the website. Yep. www.clapstudios.com. Okay. And that's clap like clap your hands, but yep. with two P's. There you go. So, C-L-A-P-P. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Um, and on on Instagram, yep. you know, that's where I'm probably um, most vocal. Okay. Um, is you see most of the recent work yep. on Instagram. You know, you can see some of the videos. Yeah. And that's at Clap Studios. Okay. So, and, and that's on, Instagram, right? On Instagram, okay. right. And then on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, we have a page. It's it's Clap Studios as okay. well. So those, that's pretty much where you can find me. I'm, so it's pretty much Clap Studios across yeah, the board. Across the board. That's awesome. Across yeah, the that's board. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's and awesome. sometimes you may see me out and I'll have this one and, yep. you know. Yeah, you, I like that hoodie, you, man. You, Clap Studios. You know, I like that's how that. you can reach me in person. You yeah, know, like, yeah. hey, you know. Yeah, yeah I like so. That. That's so cool. it's kind of cool. So I yeah. mean, you know, I'm 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 a little older. So I I I admittedly have not probably taken advantage of all the social media platforms that I can. TikTok and all of the other yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. It's hard been, enough focusing on just yeah. a few. So yeah. I, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I will tell you this. I mean, in this year, I hope to uh, venture into um, you know doing more YouTube videos. Okay. Yep. Um, being on TikTok. Yep. Yeah. Whatever else, threads. Whatever yeah. else. Oh yeah. Is there? I you know you. I want to. I want to be everywhere so that I make it a little easy for you to find me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Well, there you have it. That's a wrap for this episode of uh, Wedding Dreams Unveiled. Hope you enjoyed it. If you stayed around for this long, thank you. Um, give us a, a, a like, a thumbs up on all the different platforms. This will be on um, video on YouTube as well. 
time. So please, uh, you know, check it out. You want to reach out to Kenny, you know, you got all of his information where to, where to reach him at. And like I always say, don't put off anything till tomorrow if you can get it done today. And that's all we got for right now. Peace. We'll see you on the next one.